good morning everyone good morning i hope you all can uh, and see the screen clearly yes one second please check it and make sure that you can hear my voice clearly yes yes shraddha deema nila good morning yes everything is fine and perfect crystal clear for everyone so this is our day 4 and yesterday we missed the session i'll be coming one day we'll be taking two session because we have all together planned the session for the next 100 days 100k session for need 2021 2022 need batch this is our amazing telegram group at biopoint new where we conduct regular discussion polls quizzes updates on our classes omr examination everything will be conducted at this particular you all guys today evening sharp at 8:30 you have the or uh, what written exam or the written test on the chapter animal kingdom itself okay so today you will feel it a bit easier because we are going to discuss some of the previous year questions of this chapter so it will uh, make you give you a confidence on how to prepare questions from that chapter done so the link of our discussion group is provided inside the description box those those who wish to join the group just click the disc, uh, link and join our wonderful telegram group so i hope yes i hope all of you have liked the session yes rojana don't forget so those who are joining don't forget to like share subscribe and leave the comments in the wonderful comment section about the wonderful session so the ne 2021 crash course for uh, biopoint on biology that is botany and zoology entire syllabus of class 11 and class 12 the link of our telegram group provided in the description box and uh, you have to join our telegram group at biopoint new to know more about the crash course for ne 2021 yes good morning everyone hope you all emits your preparation for your diwali today evening tomorrow morning yes today evening right you all going to burn the crackers and everything government has set some time limits and everything for that yes i don't know what's yes and uh, taking a big sorry from all of you because uh, i have made or uh, scheduled the class okay but we it's because we don't have uh, at least one day to waste in our life okay because we are heading towards a very important uh, exam okay but yesterday because of some errors i itself missed you one class so apologizing for that also yes we will definitely complete the next chapter actually today was our day for uh, morphology okay but i'll definitely complete morphology within the next two days okay so moving on to the first question ready everyone ready everyone give me hearts on the screen and we can move on to the first question on the screen yes Question number one appears on your screen right now. Just take it very seriously, okay? Because one of the lengthiest chapters of class eleventh, where you feel difficulty in learning the examples. 
consider the following features number one organ system level of organization bilateral symmetry true coelomates with segmentation of the body select the correct option of animal groups which possess all the following above characteristic okay you have to check these three characters organ system level of organization bilateral symmetry true coelomates with segment of the body yes only one answer on the chat box why are you all sure going with option number b done so let's check the correct answer for the question and it's option b yes it's a direct question from ncrt asked for your neat exam what what is the correct answer annelida arthropoda and chordate Annelida, Arthropoda and Chordate are the three different groups of organism that have an organ system level of organization. Then bilateral symmetry and true coelomates with segmentation of the body. Question number two on your screens. Very easy question direct from NCRT again. Need previous year question. Which of the following animals are true coelomates with bilateral symmetry adult echinoderms ash helminthes analytes platy helminthes two key words are there in the question very clearly only otherwise you can make it mistake over here two key words are over here that is true coelomates you have to select the option of the phylum that is having a true coelom and a bilateral symmetry also yes i got the D on the chat box yes or answer is option b what analytes is the correct answer for the question what is the case with adult echinoderms on the chat box everyone what is why adult echinoderms is not the answer what is the exception in the question why why adult technoinoderms not the answer for the question? Yes, any reason for that? We selected analytes. Yes, absolutely. It they show what radial symmetry. They show radial symmetry. Then tell me why haven't we chosen Ash Elm in this? Why have we omitted the option of Ash Helminthus, everyone? Yes, everybody is going doing well today. Good. Very important chapter, right? Reason for omitting Ash Helminthus on the chat box. Happy guys. All of you are commenting the answer is really good. Yes. Yes, Dima, very good. It is not True coelomates. Ash helminthes are not true coelomates. They are pseudo coelomates. They are pseudo coelomates. Okay. What about the case with the platy helminthes? Same thing happens with the platy helminthes also. They are uh, what? As coelomate organism. They are as coelomates. Platy helminthes, they do not even have a coelom. Question number three on your screens right now. We have explained the answer for the question. Which of the following has no coelom? Platy helminthes, analytes, arthropods, mollus. Easy question. You can answer it within a fraction of a second. Because right now we discuss the answer for the question. Absolutely very good guys. The correct answer for the question is option number A, Platy Helminthus. Look which level exam is the question. It is a previous year Jipmar question. Are you getting a bit confident and prepared with our NCRT and a particular perfectly preparing with a particular guide along with an NCRT textbook? Definitely we will crack the question from this chapter, right? 
sometimes we have to expect four or five questions direct from this chapter itself 20 marks 25 marks very important one yes so guys take everything see uh, not in uh, such a tremendous way that oh this chapter is whenever we are thinking about the plant physiology especially the chapter respiration the thing that first comes to all the students mind very difficult chapter we have to study about Krebs cycle electron transport mechanism all these things then comes into photosynthesis c3 cycle c4 cycle photorespiration how i am going to remember all these things guys take it very patiently very you have to take it seriously i'm telling but just take and study it in a patient manner just study make your mind prepare that I, it is easy that i can study it well okay and guys at that particular moment when you see a particular direct question from your ncrt that you have read one day in your exam you feel happy for that okay so the correct answer next question one of these is not a feature of non chordates non chordates they are asking non chordates absence of post anal tail ventrally located cns or central nervous system absence of notochord ventrally located heart absence of gill slits correct answer for the question on the chat box yes can you please tell me why it is d why is it option d i have received an answer as option d can you please clarify it with a simple explanation answer to be d guys don't step back by thinking that i don't know the answer for the question just comment whatever you think to be the answer if this kind of a question comes for your real neat exam what is the answer that you are going to click or you are going to write for it and if you guys are keeping quiet i'll be thinking that yes you know the answer then i will be explaining only that one particular point the answer only i'll be explaining if you tell me if the answer yes the correct answer for the question is option b and uh, the reason also told by shraddha very good in case of non chordates the heart is the heart is sometimes present okay in all non chordates the heart is not there but if heart is present it is not ventrally located it is actually dorsally located if they are present they are dorsally present okay so if uh, uh, one second if uh, you tell me the answer only two or three person telling me the answer as d i'll be explaining showing you the correct answer i'll be explaining why d come as the answer if suppose a person a in the chat box just uh, answer for the question as option a then only i could be able to tell you why a is not the answer and why d is the answer or if someone tells me b then i will explain why b is not the answer why d is the answer sometimes it may be a keyword for you to answer the upcoming question also done who are here everybody over everybody hearing my voice give me thumbs up on the chat box right now everybody everybody everyone on the chat box yes guys this is not something very international that forces you to tell only correct answer no this is a platform where you are here to study so by making mistake you will get some extra bit of information also so don't fear about someone okay just comment out your answer and uh, no need uh, of just stepping back if you doesn't know something then uh, what open up and speak sir i don't know this particular question can you please explain if you don't know the answer don't know you can comment out on the chat box so i'll explain everything done next question on your screens question number five in case of porifference the spongio seal is lined with flagellated cells called oscula 
mesenchymal cells ostia answers on the chat box easy questions direct from ncrt everyone answer the question yes answers everybody very good guys keep it up the correct answer for the question is absolutely b quanocytes quanocyte is the answer for the question okay the sponge or seal which is a body cavity of the porifera the sponge or seal which is the body cavity of the porifera they are lined by flagellated cells called the quanocyte okay question number 6 on your screens right now easy question direct ncrt question asked for aligarh muslim university new delhi which of the following exhibits metagenesis hydra adamsia aurelia obelia don't get confused with aurelia obelia etc you have to read everything and then only tell me the answer this question statement is there in ncrt textbook yes i'm getting the answer as to be d and b is the correct answer for the question obelia what are the two different forms of metagenesis shown by obelia what are the two different forms obelia shows tell me tell me on the chat box name the asexual and sexual phases of the organism tell me the names yes absolutely the mites polyp and medusa polyp and medusa the polyp phase is there medusa medusa is the free swimming form polyp means they are sedentary they are attached okay and polyp is the particular phase that reproduce asexually and medusa reproduces sexually got all the points everyone everyone got thumbs up on the chat box let's move on to question number 7 yes question number 7 on your screens functional system for specific physiological function are not seen in organ system is not seen in annelids mollusk arthropods echinoderms coelenterates functional system for specific physiological function are not seen in are not seen in which of the following phylum yes the answer has to be e y then what type of system is seen in uh, option e coelenterates what is their body structure they are not organ system level of organization then which type or which level of organization can you see in option e coelenterates absolutely shraddha they can see tissue system level of organization is seen in coelenterates so is option number e coelenterates question number 8 on your screens repeated question several year question identify the vertebrate group identify the vertebrate group which is characterized by crop and gizzard in the digestive system crop and gizzard in their digestive system yes absolutely coming the answer as option c which is the correct answer birds actually the crop and gizzard are extra digestive chambers okay this crop and gizzard are actually additional chambers for that helps in the digestion what is the main function of this structure named crop this crop helps to store crop is the structure that helps to store and soften the food store and soften the food and what is the function of gizzard 
Gizzard helps in crushing and grinding. Gizzard helps in crushing and grinding of the food. And tell me guys, in which non-chordates or invertebrate group, in invertebrate group would you find the crop and the gizzard? In which other organism apart from the birds, you have studied the crop and gizzard associated with the digestive system, name of that particular organism. We have studied the detailed structure of that organism as a separate chapter. Yes, arthropoda coming under arthropoda, the organism where we have studied that. The organism where we have to study in the NCRT, which was the organism, what was the scientific name? Yes, cockroach. In the cockroach periplaneta americana, we studied about the organ that is crop and gizzard which were associated with the digestive system. Question number nine on your screen. Identify the phylum from the statements given below. You have given three different statements to identify a particular phylum. You have to identify which is the phylum mentioned over here. Yes, Rajana, very good. Periplaneta Americana. So option number one, their body is circular in cross section. So one important point, their body is circular. They may be free living, aquatic, terrestrial or parasitic in plants and animals. They are bilaterally symmetrical. They are triploblastic. The key word by which you can guess the answer for the question. These organisms are referred to as pseudocelomates. What is there to think? The correct answer for the question, Ash Helminthus. Ash Helminthus is the particular kind of organism, the old animal kingdom where you can have a pseudocelomate. Pseudocelom, absolutely. When you read the first question, you will not be sometimes getting the point. But both those statements are there in the NCRT. Okay, sometimes some students might not be getting the particular uh, answer for this question by reading the first two statements. That's why they will definitely give you one key word over there. Triploblastic pseudocelomate was the key over here. Question number 10 on your screen. Again, easy question. Which of the following feature is not present in phylum arthropoda? Parapodia, jointed appendages, chitinous exoskeleton, metameric segmentation. Yes, the answer for the question. Which of the following is not the characteristic feature of arthropoda? Yes, why the answer is A? Why telling the answer is to be A? Then where is parapodia located? Or in which other phylum structure you can see? Tell me the name of the phylum. Yes. In which other phylum would you locate this parapodia? Tell me on the chat box. Absolutely, you can see the parapodia in analytes. So the correct answer for the question is option number A, parapodia. This particular feature is not associated with arthropods. Guys, chitinous one, uh, chitinous one example for a polysaccharide. What are the two? Uh, what is the component that you can see in the chitin? Chitin is made up of. Yes. What is a nitrate? We will be saying that chitin is a nitrogen containing polysaccharide. Then what is that nitrogen containing compound you can see in the chitin? Anyone? Anyone? Yes. No one knows the answer. Just come in the short form. We have studied this. Yes, N-acetyl glucosamine. NAG. We have studied two components, right? Peptidoglycan and all is made up of NAG and NAM. N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid. Yes, very good. Question number 11 on your screens. 
which among these is the correct combination of aquatic mammals which of the following is the example for the aquatic mammals aquatic mammals so you have to understand which of the followings are aquatic you have to understand you have to think that which of the following are mammals that is the word used here to misconfuse you to make you confused over here is shark a mammal can you tell shark is a mammal or a fish uh, what shark is a mammal or a fish On the chat box, everyone. Is it a fish? Yes, it is a fish. So you can omit the option that containing shark. So option D cannot be the answer. What about trigon? What about trigon? What about the trigon? Trigon, is it a fish or a... Trigon is again fish. So you can omit those options that can in trigon also. So the correct answer for the question is option number B. Whales, dolphins and seal. Whales, dolphins and seals. Guys, in this kind of question, statement question, then match the following. Choose the correct answer. All these kind of question, you have to just check it out before if you don't know the answer for the question directly just please have a time please spend two or three seconds to just make sure that you just omit the wrong answers you just omit those answers which you feel to be wrong so directly the final answer would come to you some kind or the other kind of a trick would definitely be there okay we would be telling that if we doesn't get one way to reach our success, there will be other hundred ways. Definitely, if we doesn't have one way to reach the, our aim, we would have definitely hundred different ways around us by which we can reach there. Yes. Question number 12 on your screens. Yes, match the following and tell me the correct answer. Just match the columns and tell me which you feel to be the answer neat questions are basically simpler guys but this time neat 2020 was unexpected it was easier than what we expected also everybody told that since aims and uh, jipma have been included over there in the neat it would be simple but this time the exam was much more easier than uh, what Everybody have expected even. Yes, I'm getting the answer to be C. Let's check. Pila. What? Uh, how can you match Pila with? Pila, you would definitely know it is Redula. Pila can be more, uh, what? Matched with Redula. Because it is a row of teeth, it helps in the capturing of the prey in Pila. So cut all other options which matches with A3. Option number D cannot be the answer for the question. Next you have Bombex. Bombex is an arthropod. Right? Bombex is an arthropod. So arthropods, you have already told me, Malpigian tubules. So it matches with B. So omit all other option. Option number A and option number B can also be cancelled. So the correct answer for the question is option C. Yes, guys, absolutely perfect. You have done the answer for the question. Question number 13 on your screen. Let's move a bit fast. Choose the correct statement. All mammals are viviparous. All cyclostomes do not possess jaws and paired fins. All, rep all reptiles have a three-chambered heart. All peels covered by an operculum. Yes. 
yes and getting the answer has to be b yes guys the correct answer for the question is option b itself all these cyclostomes what is actually cyclostomes those animals or those organisms that do not possess jaws and paired appendages so all these cyclostomes do not possess jaws and paired fins is the correct answer okay why what is the exception to statement number 1 mammals shows viviparity this is a character with the mammals only right mammals show viviparity then why can't you say the answer has to be a yes why the answer was not a instead of b is there any yes ornithorhynchus platypus is a oviparous mammal guys please take it down if you are taking down any question platypus is an example for an exception to the viviparity nature okay then why statement number 3 is an objection to your answer why statement number 3 is not your answer a eh? yes and so we have omitted the option a why c we have omitted all reptiles have a three chambered heart isn't it all the reptiles have a three chambered heart absolutely crocodile is the only reptile that have a four chambered heart crocodile have a four chambered heart okay and what is the exception with option number d all fishes have gill slits like right all fishes you will see gill slits covered by the operculum the gills covering the operculum right is there any exception there also yes cartilaginous fishes cartilaginous fishes doesn't they, their gills is not what covered by an operculum done everyone question number 14 on your screen question number 14 on your screen select the option that correctly matches the characteristic feature with the group of three animals yes look at option number 1 skeleton of spicules skeleton their skeleton is made up of spicules cycon adamsia spongilla can it be the answer for the question spicules or spongin fibers is seen in phylum tell me spike uh, spicules or spongin fibers is seen in the phylum where you can see the spicules or spongin fibers absolutely you can see them in the porifera okay so adamsia adamsia is not a porifera instead it is a coelenterata so option a cannot be the answer for the question next excretion by flame cell which phylum which organism belonging to which phylum excretes by flame cell flame cell excretion seen in where absolutely flatworms or this platy helm in this okay so what is the exception over here anclycostoma it is an ash helm in this okay so it is an ash helm in this so that option can be omitted so option b also cannot be the answer next option number c mouth radula radula is particular structure rasping organ in mollusk so which of the following is not a mollusk ophira is not a mollusk ophira is a echinodermata an echinodermata 
Yes, the correct answer for the question is option number B. Jointed appendages is the characteristic feature of arthropoda. Limulus, epis, lacifer. Guys, can any one of you tell me the importance of limulus? In your NCRT, uh, they have given you one particular point which is the only character of limulus. That can also be a question for your NEET examination. Limulus. Is there any importance for that? You can call limulus like something else. Absolutely living fossil. Living fossil, right? Question number 15 on your screen. Match the correct answer, respective phylum, the example. Guys, this is how questions are going to come for your exam also. That is why everybody is asking you to learn and learn, revise the examples of animal kingdom again and again. Because uh, when you see one particular term that is Gorgonia, then you, you would be see, uh, studying that particular term, Gorgonia. Or for some people, C pen or C fan will appear to be simple. So they will study those common names. But when it comes for the exam, they will put the scientific name. When you are studying the scientific name, the examiners will put the common name. So it's our duty to study both common name and the scientific name for all. Yes, let's match it. The correct answer for the question is answer as option. Yes, everybody have told me the correct answer. Option B. Ophira, we have matched it right now. It is Echinodermata. Physalia, you know the answer, right? What is Physalia? Celenterata, I told you. Physalia, Celenterata, Portuguese man of war. So cut down all the other options which are not matching with that. Option number one and option number C. Then, planaria, you know, very party helm in this question. Number four. So, four matches with two. This also you can cancel. So, the correct answer for the question is option number B. Done. Done, everyone. Moving on to question number 16 on your screen. Which of the following options have features corresponding to the given animals? There are certain terms on the screen which you haven't seen in your NCRT. Holothuria, Asterius, Antidon, Echinus. Because it is a names question. Water vascular system, hemolymph, I think the option over there. Perihemal system and water canal system, calcareous shell, calcareous shell, acylomate, pseudocylomate, water vascular system. Let's see the correct answer for the question. You know what are the other organism belongs to? Asteriasis, that is a starfish, antidon, echinus and holothuria all belongs to the phylum echinodermata. So they will have a water vascular system, hemal and perihemal system. Answer is A. Answer is A. Okay. Are they having a calcareous shell? Is something mentioned in your NCRT? Let me check it. One second. No, right? Calcareous about calcareous shell and all not mentioned in the NCRT, right? They have a water vascular system. Yes. And guys, how can you tell? Yes, I also noted it right now. Now. 
how can you tell water canal system water canal system is associated with which phylum tell me which phylum is it associated with what water canal characteristic of which phylum don't know absolutely porifera so please check that is one of the i thought you tell, told me the answer by seeing the calcareous shell because you haven't heard about the hemal and the perihemal systems guys uh, today is friday i think right friday saturday sunday three more days three days only we will be taking for studying the chemical coordination integration when you are coming for the class i think sharpa 2 2:30 right or 2 o'clock 2 o'clock or 2:30 is the chemical coordination integration class when is the class is it 2 or 2:30 2 i think so whenever you are uh, whenever you are going to attend the class on chemical coordination take down your ncert along with you because along with the ncert marking also we will be doing in the same session itself up to which portion yes thank you sujan it's 2 o'clock okay when you come for 2 pm today for the chemical coordination integration class so come with your ncert it's chemical coordination right at 2 o'clock done because up to which portion we study we go on with the of the ncert one by one also yes so without wasting moving on to question number 17 on your screen match the name of the animal column 1 with one characteristic mentioned in column 2 and the phylum or class belong to option 3 yes tell me the answer for this question easy question for me based on ncert itself yes i got the answer as to be c on the chat box right now yes guys option number c is the correct Ectomycin. It is a cyclostom. It is an ectoparasite because they are jawless. Why the answer is not a? Why not a limulus? Is the body of limulus belongs to phylum which phylum? Their body is covered by chitinous exoskeleton. We studied. Then why we cannot say the answer has to be a? Right then, why that cannot be the answer for the question? Yes, it's not class species. It's phylum Arthropod. What about second option? Adamsia radially symmetrical. Adamsia is radially symmetrical, right? Then why it cannot be the answer? Why Adamsia is not the answer for the question? Option B, Adamsia. What happened? Yes, they are not Porifera. They are Cilentrata. Ichthyopus is the. What is the importance of Ichthyopus? Does anybody remembering? Ichthyopus. Just take it down. they are the limbless amphibian very important limbless amphibian important statement in the ncert they are not reptilia done everyone question number 18 on your screen 
which of the following groups or animals is correctly matched with its characteristic feature without any exception option a reptilia you have to match the uh, select that particular option which contains a group of animals is correctly matched with its characteristic feature and there should not be any exception also reptilia possess three chambered heart with an incompletely divided ventricle option a cannot be the answer why because crocodile is a reptile that have a four chambered heart so you can omit option a what about option number b chordate mouth with an upper and a lower jaw what is why b cannot be the answer guys i told uh, you told me the answer has to be c yes correct answer for the question okay c is the correct answer for the question why b cannot be the answer i'm tell me is there any exception for any chordate that doesn't have an upper mouth and a lower jaw yes rada what is the name of that particular organism that does not possess an upper and a lower jaw yes everybody is telling not all then have you uh, is there any names in the ncert for any chordates that uh, doesn't possess a mouth with an upper and a lower jaw or should i tell you have you studied that or should i tell you the answer please tell me frankly tell me yes cyclostomata we studied agnatha nata stomata agnatha we studied vertebrae divided into under agnatha we studied about cyclostomes right are you all remembering all the people in the class got it right now so cyclostomata is also a chordate but it does not have jaw we did three questions back this is how the questions i told you this is the importance of practicing the previous year question and guys one more important thing when you are practicing when you are practicing a question make sure that you study the correct answer for the question then the same question may come for your exam you will write it that much perfect your answer should be second important thing while you are doing one particular question is that you have to make sure that you read all other wrong option also you read and understood why those other three is not the answer and why that is only the answer uh, even i too was a person reading a question if i know the answer just click the correct answer go to the next one i'll not even read the other option is it the case with everybody yes so please don't do that okay please don't do that whenever yourself it's not the case with bio only for physics chemistry physics chemistry i think it's easy for you to understand because problems right chemistry you have to make up give a focus okay chemistry you have to give a bit more focus also because you have certain theory question also so cyclostomes coming under chordate then the last one mammalia we have discussed ornithorhynchus platypus right moving on to next question again the same type of question guys the same question they will repeat change what to how how to when when to why it is out the pattern of the question only the same question meaning and everything will be the same they will change the pattern in order to just confuse you that's it just take it simple manner okay don't get over it that will actually lose a more mark for us it's not shared by birds and mammals birds mammals birds and mammals both are warm blooded animal they have an ossified endoskeleton both breathe through lungs 
viviparity but exception is there there is nothing mentioned about the exception in the question they have asked you which of the following is not shared by both mammals and birds so the answer for the question is option number a viviparity yes why a is a was the answer yes a was the answer guys why retracted everything next question which of the following characteristic feature possesses holds true for the corresponding group of animals chordata possesses a mouth with an upper and a lower jaw we studied we studied two questions back cyclostomes acnatha okay they do not possess jaw they are jawless organism so option a is not true for everything three chambered heart divided ventricle guys how many question tell me frankly have we seen this for more than five question the same option the question we have seen the same question three chambered heart for reptilia no crocodile have four chambered heart isn't it now have you got a bit confidence that if you practice you will get it yes so the correct answer for the question is option endoskeleton chondrichthyes viviparous mammalia guys this was a previous year neat question something right now previous year knee question look at the options very clearly chordata reptilia chondrichthyes mammalia i'll show you one thing more is both the question similar look at what this is a question for previous year aipmt is both the question similar sorry is both the question similar the neat question that we have done right now and this question so what do you have you understood i have already told you that ai pmt questions are cut copied for our neat exam right so that is the importance of ai pmt the same question but they have asked in some kind of another manner right this they have given the statements completely on the other neat question they just draw a table to make it more wonderful to make uh, children confused that they haven't seen this question but we should have an idea that we have read that question we have did that question okay So the correct answer for the question clear everyone cartilaginous endoskeleton by chondrichthyes question number next question on your screen which one of the following categories of animals is correctly described with no single exception in it no single exception again the first question again the first option again same option all reptiles possess scales have a three chambered heart reptiles except to crocodile have is it a is the answer a for reptiles we have except crocodile we have three chambered for crocodile we have four chambered all bony fishes have four pairs of gills and have an operculum on each side that is the correct answer for the question okay done everyone same option crocodile four chambered mammals viviparous except ornithorhynchus sponges are marine freshwater sponges also there question number 22 on your screens which of the following is a mismatch scales seen in reptilia complete seen in mollusk coanocytes seen in porifera parapodia annelida 
AMU Aligarh Muslim University Delhi question easy one easy question yes guys no need of wasting time on this question complex mollusk then where can you see complex on the chat box everyone complex is not seen in mollusk then which phylum you can see the complex complex is seen in absolutely tino for a next question next question a bit confusing question but i need the answer from each one of you don't copy the answer from anybody just tell me the answer which you feel to be the answer for the question okay just come in all the persons have to come and me the answer for the question which among the following is not a homeotherm yes i got the answer as b e what about others i need the answer from everyone everyone have to tell me the answer fast shall we for just 20 seconds only two people in the class what's that is guys please don't be afraid just comment out your answer then only i can explain to you all the five option you need the explanation for all the five option right where is nila guys what is this particular uh, thing aptinodites aptinodites what is actually can any one of you tell me what is the real name or the familiar name for this particular aptinodites can i tell you the only we call it as a small thing that is penguin penguin what is homeotherm before that what is homeotherm homeotherm means what warm blooded animals actually what is warm blooded animals are birds and animals apes and mammals all the members belonging to apes and mammals are warm blooded animals or homeotherms then when it comes into option b testudo what do you mean by testudo testudo means they are a particular species of our familiar one tortoise or tortoise but they are not actually the indian species tortoise testudo is actually a species of tortoise which is actually a reptile which is found in the north africa western africa so tortoise belongs to reptilia belongs to the class reptilia so the correct answer for the question is option number b tortoise delphinus delphinus can anyone can anybody guess what is delphinus by the term you would get something familiar delphinus similar to which animal or which mammal absolutely dolphin delphinus dolphin neophron very good neophron it is actually an apes birds vulture ornithorhynchus periplanetta not periplanetta that is platypus okay ornithorhynchus platypus and now guys tell me was this an out of ncrt question or a question from your ncrt 
was this a question out of ncrt or this a question from your ncrt yes this is a direct question from ncrt but tell me frankly when you see those options for the first time you also get confused because some one of the two terms you have in noticed also from your ncrt right so please study we know penguin dolphin platypus vulture tortoise all these things we know but we don't know about Achenodites, Testudo, Delphinus, Neophron, Ornithorhynchus, we don't know. Direct question from NCRT. We cannot just go for challenging of the OMR, of the answer key for uh, bonus marks. We cannot go because we have this question in NCRT. So please make sure you study all the examples. Guys, just do one thing. You write all the examples in one sheet of paper and then keep it with you. Just revise it every day. Just read it in between. When you go be, uh, before you go to sleep, just take it. Just have a glance at once. Some of the other examples will definitely remain in your mind. It will not make you forget about it. Question number twenty-four on your screens. Pick the odd one out. Kilon, Calitis, Naja, Pavo, Stilacula. Ornithorhynchus, Canis, Felis, Ratus, Bufo, Rana, Hyla. Pick out the old one out. Names are very interesting, right? Bufo, Rana, Hyla, Canis, Felis, Ratus, Pavo, Sit, uh, what? Sitacula, Ornithorhynchus, Kilon, Cartus, Naja. Right, everyone? Yes, I got the answer. Has to be option number B, which is the correct answer for the question. Because Ornithorhynchus belongs to class Mammalia. Done? Last and the final question. Question number 25 on your screens. Match the following and select the correct option. Cyclostomes, A's, Tunicates, Melanoglosis, Osteoostectites, Hemichordates, Urochordates, Acnata, Pisces, Tetrapoda. We know Cyclostomes, Acnata because we discussed in today's class itself. Let's check. Apart from three, cut all the other options. A1, no. A2, no. A3, A3, A5. How many options have gone? Three options have gone. A is. What is A is? Absolutely, they are tetrapoda. A is are tetrapoda. So B cannot, B is not one. So the correct answer for the question is option C. Give me hearts on the screen, everybody. Give me hearts on the screen, everyone, if you are clear with this particular session on Animal Kingdom. And uh, if, you, uh, if you are confident by right now, that if we put a bit more effort from our side, we would definitely score much more from this chapter. So work hard, do well for the evening exam. You will get direct question from this particular session. So see you at sharp 2 o'clock with a supremely amazing chapter. Okay. I hope at 2 p.m. you have chemical coordination itself, right? So be with your NCRT. Be ready with your short notes. Ready with your notebook, textbooks, your pen, your highlighter. Pencil, everything sharp at 2 o'clock. Okay. I'll be here with an amazing session 
on chemical coordination integration for you so bye bye thank you guys see you in the next class with a supremely amazing new lecture Okay, Shraddha, you can watch the replay after 2 p.m. after your class is over.